The future of the Affordable Care Act is now in the hands of the U.S. Supreme Court. This week, justices agreed to hear an appeal by 20 mostly Democratic states of a lower court ruling that called part of the law unconstitutional. And now, New Hampshire will be joining that effort. There's no question that the Affordable Care Act has has not brought down costs. It does have a lot of problems with its applicability. But here in the state of New Hampshire, um, it's a huge part of our health care system. And uh, to just pull it away and repeal it without a replacement, it would be devastating for New Hampshire. Texas and other Republican-led states sued, arguing that a 2017 bill signed by President Trump that got rid of the financial penalty for Americans who do not have health insurance means the rest of the law must be thrown out as well. Lower courts have agreed with that argument. But the the governor says repealing the law will hurt Granite Staters. When you're talking about just removing hundreds of millions of dollars out of a system that um, positively impacts tens of thousands of your citizens, my job is to stand up for, for our system. Might not impact other states in, in the same way, but it's very impactful here. The decision puts the governor in opposition to other Republican states and the Trump administration. I never worry about political re repercussions. I only worry about the citizens of the state, and that's exactly why we're going to do the right thing and, uh, and make sure we're fighting for their interests. Now, arguments before the Supreme Court could happen as soon as this fall, before the presidential election, but a decision won't come until much later. Live in the studio, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.